All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Shauna. I'm going to here in Phoenix. Got Diane here live. Great to have her and her willingness to be part of the class here. And those of you that are here on Zoom, fun to have you. Thanks for being here as well. This is our Fit Essentials Basics class. If you are using the B3 bands, we've added air to our lower body. If you're experienced with them and want to have air in the upper and lower body, but just letting you know where we are on the crew. So let's go ahead, come on up to standing. We're gonna start with three cycles of our spinal cord breathing, and then we'll get a little bit more movement through the legs from there. So go ahead and standing up nice and tall, walk your feet in so they're just underneath those hips, soft bend in your knee, draw that belly in. You're gonna breathe in, circle those arms around, palms come together, forearms and elbows come together. And now you're gonna draw your belly in as you breathe out, tuck your body down into a little ball here. And you're ready to breathe in, lift the chest, engage the glutes, circle the arms down and back. Sorry for the landscaping, squeeze those shoulders back and then exhale, draw it all down and forward. Good, twice more, breathe in, nice deep cleansing breath. Bring it, breathe in peace and confidence, clarity, exhale all the stress, worry, frustrations of daily life. Good. One more time. Engage those glutes as you lift and open that chest. Beautiful. And then longer exhale than normal all the way out. When you finish, go ahead and relax those arms down to the side. Stand up nice and tall and just start into your nice, smooth spinal rotations. Let's go ahead and get Diane here a little bit better. That issue is going to be on the other side of the table. Here we go. When you're ready, go ahead and start to let those arms tap against the body. Exhale as they tap. You're comfortable to rotate the head and neck as well. Turn the head over the shoulders. Good. A couple more each side. Beautiful. From there, walk those feet in. We're going to go into our march and punch next. Bring those hands up to the shoulders. Draw those shoulders back. When you're ready, you're gonna punch across the body, lifting the knee of the opposite leg. Trying to exhale with that punch. Really push that big toe down, lift up out of that hip as you come up onto that one foot. Good. Nice and smooth. 10 seconds left. Keep focusing on that balance. Two, one, and rest. All right, from here, we're going to go into that lunge position. So if you're there on screen, set your left foot forward. If you're here with me, it's going to be the right foot forward. Walk the left foot back. So you want to have like a nice broad stance. And that back foot's going to be up on the ball of the foot. Make sure that front foot is planted into that heel. When you're ready, we're going to do like a little lunge pulse. So you're going to reach the arms out, bend that back knee. So that knee comes down towards the floor, then push that heel and stand tall. Down and up. I'm gonna face this way so I can see Diane. Down and up. So longer stance. There we go. Do a little bit wider. Good. So you wanna be long enough that back knee can lower down and that front shin stays vertical. Yep. And you wanna think about pushing away on that front foot. So I push down into the floor, lower down, drive up. One or two more. So like a lunge pulse and rest. Walk that back foot in. In between sides, let's go some hip circles on this first set. Nice and smooth, circling those hips around. Got my clock on the one side, Diane on the other. I gotta fix that up and then switch hip circles the other way. Smile. All imperfect. All right. So from there, we're gonna go back that lunge. Now your opposite leg forward. So those of you there on, on Zoom, left foot, right foot, sorry. And when you're ready, chest nice and tall. Arms reach out, just a little pulse. If you are confident with your lunges and wanna go your knee all the way down, that's fine. Otherwise, just pulse it down. You wanna rest the arms down as you stand tall and then raise them up, that works as well. Breathe. Good. Good, Diane. Very nice. One or two more. And two, one. Walk that back leg in. Very nice. 
<laughs> you on the burn now? <laughs> All right, step it out to the side. Bring those arms up to overhead. Muscle burn? Yeah. All right. Step jacks or jump jacks. Two, one, and take a pause. Nice job. All right, if the drink is nearby, feel free to grab a short drink, and then we're gonna go back to the top with that march and punch. All right, we'll start in 15 seconds. If anybody's ready early, you're welcome to start early. We're we'll in that little march and punch. If you're waiting for us to get going, you can just do a little march in place here. Keep that blood flow going. And when you're ready, arms to the side, chest tall. Here we go, punching those arms. Nice, Laura, good. Lift those knees, lift the foot and toes. And focus to draw up through your belly as you switch your body from one leg to the other. So draw your midline up and in. Good. Nice, Christina. Good, Diane. Five more seconds. Two, one and rest here. All right, back to that lunge, pulse on the first leg. So those of you there on screen, it's gonna be your left leg. Diana, it's gonna be our right leg. So front heel planted, eyes up. I'll show you from the side. I go this way so I can see her. Two, one, here we go. Reach the arms out, front heel planted. Back knee lower straight down towards the floor. Keeping that chest up, good. A little tiny pulse, front heel really drives down. I'm gonna start to feel that back thigh starting to burn, sometimes the front leg as well. Good. One or two more. Woo! And rest. Good job. Walk that back foot in. This time through, let's go figure eight. So, belly button, imagine has a little pencil on it, and we're gonna trace the figure eight. Here we go. Ah, loosen up those hips. Reverse directions of your figure eight. Trace that the other way. Good. You can move the arms with it as well. Just moving the body, finding that flow. And release. Nice job. Second set of those lunge pulses. Your right leg's going to be forward on screen. It's going to be our left leg here. Keep those feet hip width apart. I'm going to show you from the side. Back foot's on the toe. Front foot is firmly planted. When you're ready, as you slightly bend that back knee down, arms reach out. Front heel vertical, front heel planted, and that shin vertical. Yeah, there you go. Belly draws in, chest and eyes stay tall. Very nice. A little bit of balance and strength training at the same time here. Uh, breathe. Last time through, just doing two rounds of this today. Two, one, and shake it out. Walk that back leg in. Woo hoo! All right. You can shake it out with those step jacks. That's a tough exercise. That really kind of brings that more time under tension when you're holding that stationary lunge position. So it oftentimes really gets those legs burning. All right. 10 more seconds here. And I'm going to slow it down for a stretch. Two, one, and rest. Nice work. All right. So let's go ahead and take a seat for a second for some stretching. If you want to stay standing, you can stay standing. We'll do a toe touch. I'm going to show a couple stretches from seated. All right. Sit up nice and tall. Draw those shoulders back. So either standing tall or sitting tall. Hands on the thighs, chin to the chest. Go ahead and slide the hands down towards the feet. If you're comfortable once you get down there, breathe into the back of the body. Nice deep breath in on that exhale. See if your body wants to lower a little bit farther. One more time. Nice deep breath in and all the way out. When you're ready, make your way back up to seated or standing. If you were standing, go ahead and join us in the chair or on the ground next. We're going to do a couple of figure four stretches next. 
for that figure four. If you're on the ground, you're gonna sit down or lie on your back, cross one foot over the opposite thigh, sitting up nice and tall, and then we're gonna go hand softly on the knee, and raise that leg down. Good. Breathing here. Stick my clock to where I can see it. Good, 10 more seconds. Draw those shoulders back, draw that chin in. Focus on your upper body posture as well. And when you're ready, go ahead and release that leg and we'll make our way to the same thing on the other side. Crossing the foot over the opposite thigh. Step nice and tall, inviting that knee to lower on down. My timer. Grateful for this beautiful sunshine today. The landscapers are cleaning up the park, huh? The air is so crisp. Yeah. So beautiful. Very nice today. Two, one, and make your way out of that figure four. All right. From here, let's do a couple of our uh, cat cow and then we'll come back to standing. So if you are on the ground, make your way to hands and knees. Otherwise, here in the chair, hands on the knees. Exhale as you pull the belly in, draw that chin to the chest and inhale. Draw the shoulders back, lift the head and neck. Good. Exhale, draw the belly in, chin down. We'll do about three cycles here. Try to breathe in through the nose, really draw those shoulders back. Think about having like a really broad, proud chest. A couple more. Sitting up nice and tall, pulling those hands back. And last time. Exhale, draw it forward. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Fantastic. All right, when you're ready, make your way back to standing. That's good work. We're gonna start to work on some deadlifts next, but we're gonna work a little bit more mobility and warm up that hinging pattern first. So once you come to standing, I want you to walk your feet in so that your toes and your feet are just underneath those hips. Toes are pointing straight ahead. Establish that soft bend in your knees. Now check in with your midline of your body. We tend to live with our hips forward. So I want you to think about rocking your hips back, draw that belly in. And either arms over the chest here or behind your head. I'm gonna be demoing over the shoulders. As you breathe in, I want you to send the hips back, send the butt back, draw that chin in, looking straight down towards the ground, and then breathing out, pushing through the feet, standing tall. Good, we'll do that about four more times, breathing in raising those arms up or drawing those elbows back if the hands are behind the head. Long spine here, trying to say hello to those hamstrings. Good. Two, three more. There you go. Good, Shirley. Elbows high. Nice, Laura. Diane, all the way up. Breathing in. Trying to feel those hamstrings as you push the hips back. Standing tall. Maybe one more here. Elbows up or elbows drawn back. Over. And standing tall. Beautiful. All right. From there, when you're ready, if you have some weights nearby, we're going to bring some weights over and hold one like right between the legs. One or two, if you have lighter weights, you can hold one in each hand. If it's easier for you to be on outside the legs, you can, but I'm going to be demoing, we call it a sumo deadlift with the weight right between our legs. So what we just practiced with those hips pushing back, that's what we're gonna work on next. So the soft bend the knees, when you're ready, you're gonna send the hips back, keep that weight right between the feet, and then push through your legs, squeeze the glutes as you stand up tall. Breathing in, hips push back, knees push wide, and squeeze the glutes and stand. Very nice. That's your rhythm here. We're gonna go another 40 seconds or so, over and up, good. Long spine, standing tall. Nice. Good, Diane. That weight right between the legs. Hands close. Now lower down between the ankles. There you go. And straight up. We're just over halfway, about 20 seconds left. Bowing forward and straight up. Looks nice, Laura. Good, Christina. Make sure that chest stays tall. You got it, Shirley. 10 seconds. in, long spine, send those hips back. 
and three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Go ahead and set the weight aside. And we're going to come to our elevated surface next. So either the tabletop, I have to go on the back of the table. Tabletop or a chair, we're going to work our elevated plank with the option of practicing your push ups if you choose. So wide handprint, walk those feet back, draw the belly in. Three, two, one. When you're ready, you are holding here for 30, or you can slowly lower that chest towards the surface, drawing your elbows in and pushing away. So draw the belly in, squeeze the glutes. You don't want your hips to sink forward. Lowering down, nice Diane. And just come down as far as you're confident. We'd like to see the chest all the way to the surface. Great job, Laura. Yep, and driving away. Find a good spot, sinking in, pushing down, back. Nice. Good, Shirley. Can't quite see it, Christina. I'm sure you're doing great. Last rep, two one and rest great job coming back to your feet we're gonna work our squatting next and those of you that have the bands on with the air in you just go ahead and press those little nozzles just press that little white nozzle here some of the air release and then we'll keep going from there all right so squat practice is next set those feet just a very mild toe out for this and then as you send the hips back you're gonna reach those arms out in front hips are trying to lower down below the knees if we can. You're always welcome to hold on to something if you need. So let me show what it would look like if I was holding on. So I can hold on to my tree, hold my tree to help sink my hips a little bit lower and then use the tree or a table to pull myself up. About halfway through, we've got a full minute to practice this here. Sitting back and standing tall. Nice job, keep it rolling. Fantastic. And focus on some of those smaller muscles of your pelvic floor as well. You want to try to engage all that lower musculature as you sit back. And push through your heels. Stand all the way up. Maybe one or two more. Back, 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 back. Think about pushing that weight straight down. And when you finish that rep, go ahead and rest. Let me see where I'm at here. Squat practice. All right, standing nice and tall. We're going to practice some cross crawl movements next. Let's start with our windmill. So walk those feet outside the hips. Wide base stance. There we go. Bend into those knees. Reach those arms nice and wide. And now for the windmill, we're going to practice that long spine, bringing the hand to the opposite leg. Squeeze the glutes and really focus to draw those shoulders back as you stand upright. Breathe in, bow forward, exhale, stand tall. Good. Beautiful. Next back. Over and up. Let's get about one more on each side. Down, up, over, and rest. Good job. Shimmy those feet back in. If the water is convenient, Let's grab a drink and we've got about 20 seconds. We'll be back for our deadlift practice. And I know it sounds kind of scary when we're like deadlift, man, we don't want to die. Deadlift meaning dead weight. It's how I would pick up my dog off the ground here. If Moose couldn't get up, he's just dead weight right there. So we're practicing that. Don't take the CFR, you know, it sounds so awful. Restriction. Yeah. What am I restricting? Got <laughs> a 15 if you want it. That one. All right, so when you're ready, you got a little extra rest on that. Belly drawn in, keep that low back flat. And here we go. Sorry, Laura. Send those hips back, push through the feet. We got one minute to practice this hinging, lifting. Yep, so you want to imagine your hips like the hinge of the door. Instead of bending through my spine, you want to bend at the waist, sending your hips straight back and straight up. Very nice. Chin draws in. I'm looking down as I lower the weight down, looking straight ahead as I stand. Beautiful. Try to keep those elbows straight. Breathing out, standing tall, breathing in, lower down. Wonderful. Halfway through. Those shoulders back. Nice. 45 seconds done. Keep it moving. Come a little bit closer and see what's going on with the live feed. Excellent. Good job. There you go, Shirley, standing tall. 
Nice, Laura. Good, Christina. Couple more. And there's our minute. Awesome work. All right, from that deadlift, we make our way back to your elevated surface, practicing the push up or that forearm plank. So if anything's going on and it bothers your shoulders to lower down, then just strengthen that upper body by pushing through your arms. The lower your surface, the harder it's gonna be. So use an elevated surface so you can get that full range. When you're ready, squeeze the backside and here we go. Down and really push through the hands. There you go, elbows out just a little bit. Excellent work. So set of wide elbows, think elbows draw back and in. There you go, those are nice, Laura. Good, Shirley, that looks like a great height for you. Yep, nice and smooth. You got it, Christina. One more, Diane. Good. And three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. We're coming back to the squatting work. If you want to hold some weight this time, you're welcome to it. You could also squat to a chair or a bench and stand. If you want to include any kind of overhead work, you're welcome to do that as well. So with no or zero weights or light weights, go ahead and set your feet just outside the hips, draw the belly in, and then when you're ready, you'll either hold your weights and send the hips back. As you stand tall, if you'd like to add a little overhead reach to it, we don't have a lot of overhead work today, so I'll reach my arms out and all the way up, and now reach overhead, beautiful. Sitting back, arms reach out, driving my feet straight down, and then raise those arms up to overhead. Beautiful, good. Nice rhythm. Try not to let that head look down as you lower into that squat. Keep those eyes up. There we go, eyes up, chest tall. Squeeze the tush as you raise those arms to overhead. Well over halfway now. Wonderful. About 10 seconds left, one or two more reps. And that pressure back into the heels, all the while still pushing that big toe down. So the whole foot's in contact with the ground. Finish that rep and rest there. All right. So we did the windmills last time. On this next round, if you want to do that cross crawl pattern, either bent arms, elbow to the opposite knee, or I'm demoing here with straight arms, straight legs. Breathe out. Breathe in, find your rhythm here. One hand to the opposite leg. Practicing that balance, good. 10 more seconds. And three, two, one, and shake it out. Nice job. All right, we're gonna take it through one more time. I think that's good practice for us. Let's grab a drink. And we'll go just a little bit shorter intervals on this last time through. Did you add air on your arm? Oh, you do? Yeah. Go ahead and lift the air out of the arm. <laughs> I'm sorry, if you had air on your arms, lift those out as well. I thought we were just adding legs at the warm up. Ah, my bad, Diane. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna hurt you per se, just a little bit extra challenge. All right, pick the weight you wanna use for your deadlifts. Set those feet nice and wide, draw that belly in. And when you're ready, we're gonna spend about 40 to 45 seconds here. Long spine as you bow down, squeeze the glutes and stand. Nice, yeah. Send those hips back, send those knees out. Excellent job. And up, halfway through. Over, 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 knees push wide. Good, stand, nice. Good job, Shirley. Really keep that chest broad, squeezing those shoulders back as you lower down, smooth as you stand up. Good, 10 more seconds, couple more. Doing great, Diane, keeping it close. Good night. Straight up, last time. Push back, beautiful, and stand. Good, finish that rep and rest. Back to your plank or push-ups, final time. Elevated position. Set those hands, beat the 
left shoulders, walk those feet back. And three, two, one, here we go. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Watch those elbows, keeping the shoulders drawing back, while keeping those hips elevated. Ten more seconds. Breathe. Breathe in as you lower. Breathe out as you really push through those hands. Last rep. Fantastic. Come back to the feet. This will be our last time with the squat work. And we'll just have one more circuit after this. So walk those feet out, draw the belly in. If you wanna hold any weights this time, we're gonna go a shorter distance, shorter duration on the squats when you're ready. Reaching those hands out, invite that chest to stay tall. And if you like that overhead reach, I like to keep you all reaching overhead. So hips go back, and a tall, raise the arms. <laughs> reach the arms out, push through the feet, and reached overhead. Fantastic. One or two more. Back. Up. Stand tall. Last one. Up. And reach. Good. All right. The last cross, cross crawl. If it's tough for you to do the knee to the elbow standing, you can also do it seated. If you're comfortable to do the knee to the elbow standing, then stay standing. You want to demo standing? Come on over here. I'll do it seated. All right, so Diane's gonna demo standing. I'm gonna demo seated. We'll get everybody moving together. Going in three, two, one. Here we go. So we had to pull that knee across and we're all trading sides. So good balance here. One elbow to the opposite knee. Nice. Halfway through. She's really lifting up through our midline to hold that balance. Sorry, move some stepping on your paw. And one more. So two, one, and rest. All right. Let's have Diane join us in the chair as well. Great job on that circuit. We're almost done. We're going to have one more circuit after this. But first, let's get in some good stretching. All right. Great job, everyone. So we're gonna do our mid-back rotations next. Let's take your left hand behind the head, right hand on the inside of your right knee. As you breathe in, you're gonna bring that left elbow across the right knee. And as you sit tall, rotate your body. So you gently push against the right knee and look over that left shoulder. About five times here, breathing in, lowering down, sitting tall and gently breathe out. Good, see if you can breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Couple more. Down, up, rotate, and same thing other side. So now the left hand sits on the inside of the left knee, right hand comes behind the head. Here we go, breathe in as you lower down, up nice and tall, breathing out. Five times here. Pausing in that rotated position, following the elbow with the eyes. Good job. Sitting up as tall as you can, getting that strong rotation. Last one. Very nice. All right, from here, you're gonna take the left hand to the outside of the right knee, hold on to the seat of the chair with that right hand, and then slide down that outer aspect of your shin, drawing the chin to the chest, and just getting a nice stretch on the left side of the torso here. Bow that head down and breathe for two to three times before you come up and switch sides. When you're ready, gradually make your way on up and we'll do the same thing on the left side. So the left hand holds on to the seat of the chair, right hand comes across to the left knee and then slowly slide down there. Chin to the chest, reaching for that outer ankle. Ah. And when you're ready, come back up. All right, we're gonna 
If you are using the upper body bands and you want to add some air, you can go ahead and take the bands to either 150 or 200. Go ahead and do that now. Those of you that aren't using the bands, let's loosen up the head and neck a little bit as they're doing that. So just do some nice gentle head and neck circles. Chin around. And remember on the upper body, just kind of push that guy in, let it click. The more you do it, the easier it will get. If you're circling the head around, make sure you change directions. Circle the head and neck the other way. Nice and smooth. All right. For this next circuit, we're going to use some light dumbbells. If you have bands, you can use the bands, but I really like the light dumbbell. And we are going to be doing a seated row. So you're going to want to have a long band out for the row and light dumbbells. We're going to be doing some curl to an overhead press with a tricep extension. So preferably to hold one dumbbell. I'll show you how. All right, so what we're going to be doing next from standing, draw the belly in. You're going to curl to your chest, push up to overhead, and then you're going to bend the weight behind you and extend up from there. So I bring it down, straight arms. I curl, I press, I lower it behind the head and extend the arm up from there. Good. So we're going to go upwards of 10 on this first one. I'm gonna do it from kneeling because I feel like it's a little bit easier for you all to see me. Diane standing there on the other side. So draw the shoulders back, draw the belly in. And when you're ready, curl, press, bend the arms back behind you, extend it up and then bringing it back down. There's one, fully extend, curl, push, bend behind. Can you bend your knees? Um, yeah, so you have just a little bend in the knees from standing, just like a slight defensive stance. Here's number three. Bend it back, push it up, down, good. Breathing through it, up, back. About halfway after this one. Good opener for the body as well. So even if the weights aren't super heavy, moving through that range of motion, keeping those shoulders going. Think about squeezing the glutes and the belly as you raise those arms up to overhead. Three to four more. Good. Uh-huh. In, up, back, up. Good, hitting the biceps, hitting the triceps and our shoulders. For normal, I lost track. Let's go two more. Smile. Good, last time. In, up, back, up, and lower. Woo, all righty. So similar to that knee to elbow that we did with the both sides, now we're gonna do it on one side of the body for about 10 times. In between sides, we're gonna be doing either a bent over or a seated row. So up to you, if you wanna do it standing or do it seated. I'm gonna demo the first round seated and then I'll demo some standing. So let's take your left arm, will be our right arm here to the, your left arm to your right knee, our right arm to the left knee. So when you're ready, either standing tall or sitting tall. One, two, Three, good. Four, nice. Great high kick, Laura. Doing great, Diane. Eight, nine, and 10. Good, those of you seated in a chair, think you know how to put that band around the feet. Everyone here live has been here with me before. Those of you that are standing up for this exercise, you can still put that band on the feet and bow forward and do a bent over row from here or join me in the chair for a seated row. It made this too complicated by doing an exercise in between sides, but that's okay. We're always learning here what works well, what doesn't work well. So when you're ready, we're gonna go 10 strong reps, do that bent over or that seated row. Yep. Forward. So ideally, Diane, you'll stay in that bent over position and this 10 times up and down with the arms. There, you got it, good. Turn it this way. Um, you can just keep the hands neutral. Good. Breathe out as you pull in. 
Squeezing those shoulders back. When you finish your 10 or so reps there, give or take a few either way, either come back to standing or stay with me in the chair. And now you're gonna do your right arm to the left knee. Diane and I will be left arm to the right knee. Get my brain exercises, just talking about the body. So when you're ready, standing or sitting up nice and tall, left arm or your right arm. And here we go, 10 times here. Good, lift up through the belly, whether you're seated or standing. Eight, lift up, nine, and number 10. Wonderful. All right, let's grab a short drink and then we'll be back for round two of our curl to our overhead press. Ready to go eight reps and then six reps and then we'll be all done. All right, so ideally holding one dumbbell. If you have lighter ones and you feel comfortable to do two, that's fine as well. So when you're ready, toes pointing forward, midline drawn in, curl to the chest, press high to overhead, tricep extension next. So you lower the weight behind your head, extend it up. That's one, eight times total. Squeeze the bottom of the body, so squeeze the glutes. If you're not overarching the spine, up and down. Good job, two. Push high. There you got it, Shirley. Good. Lower it behind the head. And push up to the ceiling. Yeah. Good, Christina. Down. That's three. No. Push. Lower. Or halfway. Keep waking up that booty. You're kind of clenching those cheeks slightly. Over halfway. Push, down, up. Last one. Very good. We're gonna change it up a little bit this time. I think it was a little complicated putting the row in between arms and the knee to elbow. So we're gonna go both sides knee to elbow and then finish the circuit with the row. So if you wanna stand tall, you're welcome to stand tall. If you wanna join me in the chair, Join me in the chair. We're going to go for eight times on each side of the body. So sit or stand tall. Arms come up to the side like scarecrow arms. And when you're ready, all on one side first. Drawing the elbow across, bringing the knee towards that elbow. Focus to keep those shoulders down out of the ears. And when you come all the way up to standing or seated all the way, think about opening that chest. No, no. <laughs> You're not my counter. All right, last one. <laughs> and rest the arms for a second. I thought I was going to sneak it in there as I have Diane whisper me the number. <laughs> no, I was watching you to make sure I was keeping up. With All right, so same thing, other side. Here we go. And when you're ready, opposite side. Two, <laughs> three. Good, drawing that belly in, five, six, seven, keep smiling, and eight times there, good job. All right, now either the bent over or the seated row. So grabbing your band, around one foot or two feet if you're gonna stand. Stand up nice and tall, and when you're ready, you can go a little bit more reps here if you'd like. Eight to 12-ish. Just feeling it out. Want to pull those shoulders back. Good. If you're choosing that bent over position like Diane, just really hold strong in your belly. Support that low back. A couple more. All right. When you finish those rows, shake it out. And we're gonna go one final time through, this time a round of six. So the numbers are going down. Get through it a little bit faster. Check back in with those feet, toes pointing forward. Extend those elbows all the way at the bottom of the curl. 
And then when you're ready, curl to the chest, engage the glutes as you raise the weights to overhead, bending it back behind, extending it back up. That's one. Good. Five more. In, up, back, two. Curl, press, engaging those glutes. Doing great, Christina. That's halfway. Nice, Shirley. Curl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bend. Four. Down. Two to go. Final sequence. Curl. Press. Bend behind the head. Push up over the head and lower it on down. Good job. Staying on your feet or coming back to the chair for six times each side of the body for that knee to elbow. Diane's gonna stay standing. I'm gonna come in the chair. We're gonna manage to count to six this time with no errors. Here we go, elbows up to the sides. Open up that chest. And when you're ready, breathe out. As you draw it together. One, two, three, four. Good. Nice. Five. And six, beautiful. Shake those arms out for a second, lower it on down. And when we're ready, here we go. Six times on the other side. Good. Five. And lucky number six, fantastic. All right, little bit of seated row and then we're all done minus our stretching. So back to that band for that last time. Around, you remember which foot you used the last time, see if you can reuse that opposite foot. And when you're ready, double the reps on this band. So let's go about 12, nice and smooth, forward and back. There's six, seven, eight, nine, three to go. 10, 11, and number 12. Spectacular, shake it out. All right, if you have air in your arms, go ahead and just press that little nozzle, release that air, and then we'll all stretch together. How about you, Moose, are you ready to stretch? He's been a good dog this class. All right, everybody, let's come back up to standing. And if you have a doorway, Diane and I are gonna use the tree here. We're gonna open up that upper body to start. Great tree. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Tree. So we're gonna bring that arm up to 90 degrees, place that forearm against the wall or doorway. Inside leg's gonna step forward. Make sure you don't arch that spine. So draw those ribs in and then lean into your chest. You'd like to feel a nice opening on that chest, that pec area. And ever so gently, you can rotate your body away from the side that you're stretching. Turn the head and neck, looking over that shoulder. And watch that you're not kicking your hip out on that side. So try to keep your hips stacked and right underneath those shoulders. Let's go ahead and take about three backward circles with that outstretched arms. Nice wide hand. Spread the fingers wide. Three backward circles. Very nice. And then release. Diane and I are going to switch sides. You can just turn around and face the other way. And then same idea. Elbow up 90 degrees. Anchor that arm against the tree or the doorway, wall, whatever you have to work with. Draw that belly in as you lean into it. Then we're going to rotate away. Give yourself a moment. Get that good stretch in that chest first. Sometimes you lose that focus when you start to move that outer arm. So give it a, another couple of breaths. And then when you're ready, we'll go three nice, smooth backward circles here. Spread the hand up and back, up and around. Fantastic. And gradually come off of there. Go ahead and stay at your wall. Put your hand right about shoulder height. Walk both feet back as you draw that belly in. And then look to lower your head between your arms. You can walk your feet a little bit wider as you need. Really protect that low back, drawing that belly in. Breathing in, you wanna to try to lift up a little bit through that mid, mid body and then breathing out, invite your heart a little bit closer to the ground. 
So two more breaths here, breathing in, lifting up out of it, breathing out, opening that mid back. Final time. And release, oops. All righty, come on up, come on off. All right, next we're gonna open up those hips and quads. So if you wanna kind of stay near where you might use some balance here shortly, we're gonna stagger the feet. Let's step your left foot forward, right foot back. So we gotta look for, very nice. Go ahead and go into your I dream a genie arm position. Elevate those shoulders up. So we're gonna rock the hips back, rock the hips forward, and now turn your torso toward your front leg. As you're rotating your torso, try to squeeze the push of that trail leg. So those of you on Zoom, be your right hip, Ryan and I were trying to squeeze that left glute. Go ahead and unwind out of it. Rock those hips back. We're going to do it twice more. Lift the hips, lift the arms, and turn that torso. Wow, that's super fast. Yeah, you got more rotation? Yeah. Good. One more time. Come back to neutral. Rest those arms down. Hips rock back. Let the chest come forward just slightly. Rock those hips back, forward, lift those arms, lift the chest, and last time here, rotating, turn the head and neck, and go ahead and release. Rest the arms down, let's balance out the other side. Walk the foot in, and switching sides, walk that other foot back. Very nice. Raise those arms up, crossing the hands over the shoulders. Now we wanna get that hip shift, so hips back, Hips forward, lift that chest, and now you're turning towards that front leg. Try your feet a little longer, part of the way apart. Yeah. Good. Feel that. Unwind, rest the arms twice more. Hip shift back. Hips shift forward. Raise the arms as you lift that chest, and a nice rotation. Looking over that shoulder of the front leg. Now it's nice and quiet. All right, one more time, everybody. Unwind, rest the arms, hips back, hips forward, elevate the upper body as you pivot that upper body. Squeezing that, push that trail leg. And unwind from there. Good job, walk those feet back in. Watch that you don't swing your arms into anything, Diane, but a little bit of our willow tree branches here, and then we're gonna go into our quad stretch. Love that bird. All right, so from here, we're gonna practice that quad stretch next. So if you need to balance somewhere, you wanna try to grab that foot and we're looking to pull the heel towards the glute. Take about 20 seconds here. Moose is all wrapped up in the TheraBand. Keep your eyes up, looking forward. Another 10 seconds. If you need to release sooner, by all means. You balance away, Diane, that's fantastic. Keep pulling up through the midline and release when you're ready. In between sides, let's open up those inner thighs a little bit. So walk the feet outside the hips, then the hips back one and place the hands on the knees. And then we do our little rotation here where you push the hand out or push the knee out, look over the opposite shoulder, breathe in as you come to center. And then same thing, other, other side. So push the knee wide. And rotate, good. Get about two or three times on each side. Ah, feels good. Very nice, Laura. There you go. All right, coming back up, and now let's balance it out with that quad stretch on the opposite leg. So steady yourself, balance as needed. Really lift on up, and now we're looking to grab that opposite foot. Great job. You look like such a well-behaved dog. If you all would have been here an hour and 15 minutes ago, you would have seen him chewing at my feet, tugging at my socks when I took my shoes off. We had all kinds of fun in the first hour. <laughs> Being a puppy. And three, two, one, release that foot. All right, everybody, almost done here. If you want to stay standing for the toe touch, you can stay standing. If you want to do your toe touch from the chair, that works as well. Hands on the thighs, draw that belly in. And just nice and smooth, slide those hands down to the feet. Say hello to that low back. Ah, 
Nice big sigh, big breath in. Ah, let it all go. On that next inhale, make your way back up. Oh, there's Moose stretching. And go ahead and meet me in the chair. I'm gonna come a little bit closer. We're gonna just finish with some head and neck stretches. All right. I sit on my yoga block here, coming on down. All right. Yeah, feel free, the water's nearby for all of you. Grab a drink. And then we're just gonna start with flexion and extension. So looking down, feel a nice stretch in the back of the neck as you look down. And then just looking up, no overpressure just yet. On the second time, as you look down, if you'd like to take the fingertips, you can just very lightly bring the fingertips on top of the head. A little bit shorter stretches here with the neck and then we'll cross the hands just underneath the collarbones. You can draw the skin down to the front of the neck as you look up. Hmm. Look back forward, keep the hands where they are. And now this time, as you look up, you're gonna bring your chin towards over one shoulder. So if you're marrying me, let's bring the chin up and turn your head like you're trying to look over your right shoulder bringing your chin up in that area. Feel the stretch a little bit more on like the front of the neck on your right side. When you're ready, release that, come back to neutral. We'll do the same thing on the other way. Gently tilt the head back, looking up, turn the neck like you're trying to look in the far corner of your room over your left shoulder. Feel that stretch a little bit in the front of the neck on your left side. Stay gentle, release there. Release the hands and now we'll do a little rotation next. So you're gonna turn the head, look over one shoulder and take one or two fingers, the opposite hand up on the cheekbone. Encourage a little bit more rotation. And release, same thing other side. Turn the head, looking over the other shoulder. Gentle overpressure if you choose on the cheekbone, not the jaw. Good. Let's go one more time each direction there and then we'll finish it out. Turn that head, just a slight over pressure. And release and second time, second side. Turn the head and neck, nice and gentle. And release. All right, our three closing breaths together. As we breathe in, we're gonna elevate those shoulders up. Breathing in and breathing out. Draw them back and down. Raw chest, good. Breathe in love. Breathe out worry. Breathe in peace. And exhale all the conflict, frustration. Let it all go and just leave it there. All right, nice job. Give yourself a little round of applause. Thanks for being here today. Keep your water going, get some sunshine today if you can, and we'll see you next week.